Okay, here we are again. Another chat with the lovely Dr. Elena Serenova. And this today is a very short video on the subject of how to spot, sorry, how to spot, not nothing to do with spot, how to spot fake NMN. And in fact, the same will apply to any kind of supplementation. So this is a really interesting chat. I will hand you over now to Elena. I don't think Elena needs to introduce herself uh, any more other than uh, if I say to remind those that are watching, uh, Elena is the CEO owner of NMN Bio. Uh, she has a wonderful history to date, uh, at both as a scientist and an entrepreneur. So if anybody's going to know the answer to this, it is Elena. So Elena, over to you. How do okay. you spot it? Where do we start? So I think that we start with the certificate of analysis, which is by far the most important component of um, that, that basically proves that the product is genuine. So first of all, um, before we go to the various tests that you can perform on a, on a supplement product, uh, it's very important to check the date of the certificate of analysis because even big companies sometimes just have some certificate of analysis displaying or on their website that are, let's say, 18 months old, two years old, which probably doesn't correspond to their current batch of product because mm -hmm. uh, supplements usually have around two, two, two years of a shelf life, but mm -hmm. uh, usually, you know, th those stocks just last for months. And what you want to ensure is that the certificate of analysis that a certain company displays is, is fresh in the past few months. Um, next, what kind of analysis is there? So um, there are some companies that just provide a certificate of analysis for purity, uh, which is, of course, very important. But besides this, you would also like to see an analysis on heavy metal and specifically on class one heavy metals that could be uh, quite dangerous for the human body at, at, at high concentrations. So this would be arsenic, lead, mercury and cadmium. And you would like to see analysis for all four of those heavy metals and to confirm that there aren't any in the product. Next, you would like to see that there is no, there are no microorganisms in the, um, in the supplement as well, such as E. coli or salmonella. So this is a separate microbiological analysis that some companies just don't, don't bother doing. <laughs> um, and I think that, you know, because uh, there are many supplements that um, are not manufactured in the, um, in the country that they are produced, they are, that they are packaged. It's very important to actually test for this because if you have a product that is coming from another country and then needs to, or, you know, it basically um, has to go through various countries until it reaches the customer, it's really, really important to do this test. Um, and next for NMN specifically, you would also need to see if there is an analysis on, um, on pH, a test of pH. And why is this important is because uh, NMN is acidic by itself. So the usual range of, um, of, of pH range for NMN products should be between two and four on, on the pH scale. Scale. And if it's anything outside this kind of um, this kind of range, this means that the product must be cut. So the first three tests that we mentioned, the purity, the heavy metals, and the microorganisms, they actually apply to all supplements. So it's always good to see those certificates for any supplement you buy. Uh, the pH is just a bit more specific to NMN, and um, you know it's not it's not necessary for other supplements. Um, and then next, of course, you would like to make sure that there are no misleading statements uh, when it comes to the supplement description and so on. So for instance, uh, made in the UK or made in the US could be one such misleading statement because actually the raw materials come from somewhere else, such as China. And then because they package it in this country, they would claim that it's made in the US. So, and, you know, they, they, they just put in a filler as well in the capsule. So boom, you have a new product that is made in the US, but this is not the case. Um, so this could be misleading. And also with other supplements, you can be seeing other um, claims that might be false. So for instance, instance, increased absorption or uh, for resveratrol, for instance, you're saying you're seeing claims um, saying that it's micro ionized, but they don't have any further details about what is the size of the particles of the supplement. 
Uh, so then um, what kind of micro ionization it went through and so on. So whatever statement uh, is there in the description about the product quality or characteristics, they always would need to, to, to kind of explain to you in a bit more detail uh, what, this, what this statement means. And, you know, there are a lot of companies that basically do this on purpose and then they just throw um, a, a catchy phrase in their product description and then it's actually not backed up by, um, by any other evidence. So very, very important. And consumers, I think that everyone starts to kind of wake up uh, right now, and consumers kind of understand that, you know, you, they need to be verifying different claims. And this is really nice to see. And, you know, yeah. eventually the brands that are ethical and that are not making such claims, they, they will definitely win. <laughs> now, so as far as the certificate of analysis is concerned, that's the first port of call. Uh, mm -hmm. In this country say and we won't speak about um any other country let's just talk about uh in britain in the uk as far as uh, uh, british standards are concerned uh do all supplementation companies have to have a certificate of analysis or is that just an I added think bonus um it's required by law to have a purity certificate and a class one heavy metal certificate right. and all other uh, certificates uh, are, are, are not uh, mandatory, but uh, again, I think that it's a good practice to have them anyway, because you can kind of control the, it's just for quality control purposes. And could we, I, I wonder actually, because I think this might be helpful, let's just list, but we're just going to list by statement, uh, all of those things that you've mentioned again. So you start off with the certificate of analysis, and then after that, you would look for the purity test and then it would be the heavy metals and then the microorganisms uh, followed by a pH test. Brilliant. Um, and then I also think that, you know, we should also mention company transparency um, and customer service as well. So for instance, how easy it is to track a certain company and to see if, you know, their trading name is, um, is the real name and, uh, you know, how easy it is to, to, to find who the founder is and who's basically putting their name on the line yeah. uh, for, for a certain brand, because yeah. uh, I think it's very important to know who you deal with. And especially if you trust someone with your health, hmm. uh, it's very, very important to know who the person behind the uh, b behind a company is. Totally. Transparency is key and it should be with all companies. Unfortunately, uh, you don't get that, do you, with all organizations? Um, so, yes, absolutely with you there, totally. Mm -hmm. Was there anything absolutely. else that you think we ought to cover? I think that we pretty much covered the, uh, the main criteria um, by which you can kind of spot uh, which in a man is fake and which in a man, which company yeah. is, you know, is good or not. Yeah. And you, you can also apply those criteria to other supplement companies. Totally. And we should also add, um, there are some exciting things uh, in the pipeline for NMN Bio, new products, and including a couple of proprietary blends. It's all very exciting stuff. We're not going to mention what those things are yet. Just stay tuned because there are more things coming on the market. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, short and sweet. I hope that was useful for those watching. There is a link uh, above for the longer video, longer interview that I have with Elena, uh, in which we discuss all things NMN and how it relates to autophagy and much, much more. So if you're interested in watching that, uh, uh, stand by and click on that link. Otherwise, here endeth today's video. And Elena, thank you very much for your time and enjoyable chat. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Bye-bye.